Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to another video. Today's video is going to be about terracotta pots specifically. Um, I have a few that I need to seal today so I thought that I would film that, show you how I do it and then maybe give a bit of background info on why I do that. Um, some of you may already know but for those of you who are new to plants this could be helpful for you if you don't really know much about terracotta or pots in general. Cool. So the reason I'm going to be sealing some of my terracotta pots today is that, so terracotta, it actually absorbs a lot of water. So what that means is that if you have a plant that's in a terracotta pot, um, it's going to get dry a lot faster than if you have a plant that's in just a plastic pot, which doesn't absorb the water. So what I do is... I have some plants that are just in straight terracotta that's not sealed. Uh, those ones are usually plants that like to be quite dry, so that's succulent type of plants. And then I have pretty much most of my plant in sealed terracotta. So I seal the terracotta and then that means that it, the pot now doesn't absorb the excess water and then so basically it's just like having my plants in a plastic pot except it looks like terracotta which is the look that I prefer so actually all of my plants in my house are in a terracotta pot um, and so they're either sealed or non-sealed or occasionally if I haven't had a terracotta pot on hand that was the right size so I will put the plant into a plastic pot and then I'll use the terracotta just as like a normal cover pot um, I'm just thinking if I have an example okay yes here is an example right here this is my Begonia Imperialis, um, so it came in a plastic pot when I picked it up. I don't want to repot it because I don't want to disturb the roots and it's still growing. So yeah, it's in a plastic pot and so I just chucked it straight into my terracotta pot and now my terracotta pot is my cover pot. Cool, so I'll just show you an example as well of how you can actually see that terracotta absorbs um, the moisture. So I actually have this golden pothos in a terracotta pot. Uh, don't actually ask me why he's in a terracotta pot. Um, normally I would put my pothos in plastic or sealed terracotta. Um, but he, I was having a few issues with him. He kept getting root rot. Um, I think I was just overwatering him. So to be safe, I put him into just a straight terracotta pot. Um, and then I've not had any issues since, so I think that I was probably just overwatering him. Anyway, as you can see, this terracotta is not sealed. As you can see, all this white stuff, it, I watered it probably two days ago, and the pot's quite sticky and it feels wet. If you don't like the look of this, then sealing your terracotta is all, could also be really helpful for that. Um, this is actually just excess salt so and minerals, so you get that in non-sealed terracotta. They will often look like that. Um, and here is just an example of a plant that I have in sealed terracotta. So this is my Calathea maquiana. And this pot is sealed. I just watered this the same day that I watered the golden pothos. And as you can see, there's no salt excess and it looks quite different. This is quite dark when the pot is wet, and this just stays the same. And that's what the sealed terracotta looks like, and it's nice and shiny. So, just a comparison, it's actually a bit darker, and you can see it's shiny, whereas normal terracotta is quite matte. Um, well, let's get into sealing some pots. I'll just show you what I use and explain what I do, and then I'll just put in a little time lapse of me actually doing it because. It does take a while, you, um, I normally do two layers on the inside and two layers on the outside um, and in between each layer I have to let it dry. So this is what I use, uh, it is a pottery sealant, I got this from Kings, um, I will put a link in the description box um, for this stuff. You might be able to get it from maybe Minor Channel Bunnings, I'm not too sure but I've only ever bought it from Kings and it's just about the price on it so you can see that's how much I pay for it at Kings um, and it does last me quite a while I've probably sealed I don't know like over a hundred pots 
and I've probably I've used two of these and this one's pretty full so this is the second one that I've bought I'm just gonna say that the nozzle on this is terrible it works really well the first time and then I think that it kind of dries in there and then after that you like spray it and it just dribbles out or like nothing comes out so yeah you could either put this into an another um, spray bottle or what I'd, I do is I just like tip a little bit into a cup or a bowl or something and then I get a paintbrush and I paint the um, pots um, but you don't want to use a paintbrush that's really good so I just get like a cheapie because it gets all stuck together and I've had to throw a few out so yeah I will just paint a layer on the outside let it dry paint another layer let it dry and then I'll do the inside layer let it dry and then another layer let it dry um, I don't actually know if you need to do two layers I just do it to be safe and then I like to make sure that I leave it for a while before I put plant into, into it so that it is definitely dry um, I know that there are other things that you can use to seal your terracotta quite often people will just paint the inside of the pot and then they'll leave the outside um, I've never tried that I don't know if the paint would affect the plant or not and for anybody wondering if this affects the plant or not I've been sealing my terracotta pots for about a, a year and a half now and I've never had any issues with any of my plants getting sick so I would assume that it's absolutely fine um, and there is instructions on the back it says to let it dry for 20 minutes at 25 degrees but I just use it in any temperature and I find it dries really fast like probably 10 minutes it'll dry um, so yeah and the last thing is I would make sure that you put it on something so I've just got a piece of cardboard that I'm gonna put the pots on when I seal it I didn't I didn't actually realize but when I first did it I just did it straight on the concrete and now there's like pot marks on the concrete that won't come off because it's waterproof but yeah um, I will insert my time-lapse now <laughs> inside and the outside I've done two layers on each um, I actually didn't really need to wait between layers this time they dried really fast um, but you can see that it's still wet so in all those bits you can't see them anymore then it's dry so I'm just gonna leave these for probably like the next 20 or so minutes um, to dry before I put them away or use them to repot anything into it Cool, so hopefully that video was helpful. If so, give me a thumbs up and I'd love if you could subscribe. See you next time.